Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask Bible questions. Please send in your Bible questions if you have any, and uh, please keep them also Bible-related because this is a Bible-focused ministry along with Scripture verse by verse where you can study the entire Bible verse by verse with me. Three complete series going through the Bible, 30 years of archives, found at thebibleversebyverse.com. Just click and listen and study the Word of God verse by verse with me. That's at thebibleversebyverse.com, though. This is your time to ask a question, and I did receive one from a woman who asks, Why did Satan want Moses' body? And she is referring, no doubt, to the epistle of Jude, verse 9. There's only one chapter. So, Jude, verse 9, let me read that. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring him against him a railing accusation, but said, the Lord rebuked thee. So the question is, why did Michael the archangel have to fight the devil over the body of Moses? Why would the devil want the body of Moses? You know what? God doesn't tell us. I'll try to give you a good a good guess, though. I don't think that God wanted Satan to possess the body of Moses because I believe that Satan would have used it to promote idolatry in the nation Israel. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, the Old Testament Israelites um, had a propensity to commit idolatry. I mean, it began shortly after they officially became a nation at Mount Sinai. They weren't a nation very long, and they're already worshiping that golden calf. And then later on, when they sinned by complaining about things in that wilderness, God sent fiery serpents to bite them and to kill them as judgment. And they cried out to God for mercy, and Moses prayed on their behalf. And God said, okay, I want you to build a golden, no, a bronze snake, put it on top of this high pole, and tell the people that if they look at it, they'll be healed of their snake bite. And so Moses did. But you know what? Later on, several years later, after Moses had passed away, the Israelites, when they were in the promised land, they began to worship that golden snake. And so it had to be destroyed. So they had this bent toward idolatry, and certainly Moses was a national hero. And you could just see a shrine being built to Moses and maybe a statue where the Israelites would go too far and worship him. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's my best guess because the Bible is silent, actually. But I'm just throwing that out there as a suggestion for you. I hope that helps. If you have any questions for me, send them to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break. So long, everyone.